stats for our characters are truly defining of their characteristics. It really does highlight how good they are and importantly how bad they are at certain things. When it comes to almost all tabletop role-playing games, there are a number of ways on how we approach making our characters good or bad. And of course in 5th edition, we have a point by, a stat array, or rolling for dice. When it comes to making these characters, I truly do believe that everyone at the table should be using the same sort of method just to keep everyone on par. But at the same time, we need to discuss which of these three options are we going to pick in the first place. The first thing we should ask is, what is the power level of the game? Is it super duper high fantasy? Then hey, maybe we're going to be rolling super high, or we allow for a stronger stat array, or you get more points to play with than point by. But if we're playing a low, grungy, dirty fantasy, then maybe this is less. How complicated do we want to be with character creation? Do we simply just want to roll some dice and get it over with? Or are we going to allow for some super in-depth crazy shenanigans where we can allocate a whole bunch of points everywhere and we can mix around our abilities and so on and so forth? The complexity of our player characters is going to be a large factor in actually creating the characters. So in regards of the three different ways we can allocate our stats, let's start looking at them, shall we? With point by, there is a ton of things going on for it. We can make generic characters where we splash our points all over the place or we can min max where we have a whole bunch of negative scores but then we get a whole bunch of that sweet positive scores you can go all over the place and this truly is one of the most fascinating ones because this will truly show off who cares more about just getting the character up and going and who cares more about making a munchkin with stat array we are given flat scores that we can place anywhere across the board this is truly the most even and fair way to allocate stats for everybody in the team because everyone's working with the same numbers. It's just a matter of where you place them. And with rolling for stats, this one has the most variability to it. Not just because we're rolling dice, but more importantly on how we choose to roll dice. Are we rolling 3d6 and that's that end of story? Are we rolling 4d6 drop the lowest? Are you rolling stats down the line? Are you rolling stats multiple times and you get to select the best ones? There are so many different ways on how you can roll stats. But the fairness of it is that everyone is given the same chance, and you can roll really good, but presumably you can roll pretty bad. For 5th edition in particular, the way stats are distributed is going to have a significant impact on your character. If they have lower stats, then they may not be wanting to use certain weapons, and if they have lower stats in the mental scores, they may have terrible DCs in their spellcasting and may not want to do anything that affects anybody. At the same time, if your stats are really low, then that means when the ability score improvements come up, then you're forced to try and play catch up versus other people that may be higher can afford to make their skills even better or take on extra feats. There is truly no one right way to do this, but I will say you should enforce everyone to do the same standard. If you have some people rolling for stats and then some people doing stat array, I can promise you that someone at the table is going to say, Oh, that's not fair that so-and-so gets a better stat than me. This is more true, I believe, with rolling for stats in particular because you could potentially high roll. But of course, if you roll for stats, then there is a chance that you roll bad and then you just have a character that is either comparable or even worse than everyone else. Whichever way you choose to generate your ability scores is going to have a significant impact on the game. It's going to tell a story. Are your characters superheroes that are above average in every single way? Or do you have people that have massive flaws and are just trying to get by? For me, I'm going to say that there's no universal one best system for generating your ability scores. I do believe it is tied to the campaign. If you're running a super duper hardcore meat grinder, hardcore mode engaged, then yeah, 3d6 down the line, everyone's going to have crappy scores and it's going to be a fun time. But at the same time, if I'm running a game where the PCs are the heroes and they're going to go on an epic quest and I don't want them suffering, then yeah, I'm going to do a point buy or maybe I'll allow a stat array with a little bit of an extra bump. You may believe that one system is better than the rest, but I do recommend that you try out all the others at some point. Maybe not for a massive large scale campaign, but maybe even for a one shot or a little mini campaign. You roll some dice or you do a fun little stat array or you plug in that point by. Whichever way you go about it is totally cool. Just ensure that everyone's on board and everyone's on the same team and you can get the ball rolling. So go ahead and tell me, which system have you used the most? Point by, stat array, or rolling for stats? Which of these methods haven't you used? And if you are going to roll for stats, are you going to make people roll for stats down the line in order? Go ahead and tell me those things because I would love to hear it. But that's going to do it for me. 
Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. And thank you to my amazing patrons. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so very much. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next one.